What's going on everyone and welcome back to another PlayStation Tips and Tricks video where today I'm going to show you a very common mistake that a lot of users make with their PlayStation controller. I see a lot of questions and comments about this on my previous videos and it has to do with using compressed air to try and fix stick drift on your PlayStation controller. For example, have you ever done this to try and fix your issue? then yep, this video is for you. So stick around because I'm going to show you a few of my best tips and also mistakes to avoid if you're going to do this to try and fix stick drift on your PlayStation controller. Before we get started, if you could do me a favor and press the like button on this video for good luck, and also comment below to tell me if you've ever used this method yourself to try and fix stick drift on your controller. Now one of the big mistakes that's actually very easy for anyone to make is not properly cleaning under the analog stick before you use the compressed air. You never want to do this. I always recommend that you take the extra time to properly clean this area first because over time dust and worn plastic will begin to collect and what happens is you risk blowing all that extra gunk deeper into the controller if you're not cleaning it first. So to do this I recommend using a q-tip and a small amount of rubbing alcohol. Simply clean under the analog while rotating it in order to be as thorough as possible and then flip the q-tip to finish it off. Once you're done check the area to make sure there is no dust or residue before you continue. And if you missed a spot, just repeat the process. I also recommend waiting at least a minute to let any of the remaining rubbing alcohol to completely evaporate. Once you've completed these steps, we can go ahead and use the compressed air in attempts to fix the issue with the analog stick. Now when you do this, another very common mistake is laying the controller flat and then tilting the air duster to reach the analog. You do not want to do that. And the reason why is if you tilt the can too far, you can risk blowing moisture from the duster into your analog stick. And that's probably not such a good idea. Instead, keep the duster upright when blowing the air and hold the controller in your hand to prevent this from happening. I also recommend pressing down on the R3 or L3 buttons to allow more space for the air to pass through. And you can also rotate the analog while using the duster in attempt to get those harder to reach places. And that's it. Now you know my best tips and also mistakes to avoid when you use compressed air to try to fix issues with your controller's analog stick. Has this ever worked for anyone in the comments section? I would be interested to know. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video.